Hi guys and girls and welcome to the next tutorial. Now, uh, <laughs> I thought the microphone was like dusty or something. Anyways, um, so I have a, a very big special announcement at the end of this video. So if you can either skip or keep watching, it's okay. Just remember to subscribe and like this video. So today we're going to start with the arm and hands tutorial. The hardest part of the world. You can actually go and ask other artists and they will tell you that the hardest part is either the eyes or the hands. Every artist know this. This are this this two are the hardest parts in doing art. For me, I don't have problem with eyes. I'm really sorry for those who have problem with eyes, but I do have problems with hands. So I'm just gonna try and explain that as much as I can how to draw hands. Anyway, so uh, before we start this, uh, like I said at the end of the video, I have a special announcement uh, and a cool special thing for all of you. And also, for now, not for the end of the video, um, so I wanted to show you a little bit of a trick here for those who are uh, using Wacom tablet. Um, I have these on my start button because they're, they're essential tools. Um, many people have been like having trouble on pressure sensitivity, right? Sorry about that. Uh, and the pressure sensitivity, it's because uh, you have to remove something. I don't know. I learned this on the internet, but it works and it actually works. So uh, let me show you this little example over here um, before we start, because this is really important. Not many of you are will be able to draw on Sai or Photoshop because of this, and and it, this is really really important. So let me just do it blue. Um, let's just do this. Okay, um, I'm gonna show it here. As you can see, you can see like a little curve over here. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it. If I if I draw, see here it is. See how see it when I do circles as well. Look, this thing shows up here. This there's one over here, and this actually can mess up when you draw, and it's really frustrating as well. So um, the reason I want to uh, give out this tip around because it's it's like an epidemic, you know, it, it's something that it's like a virus. It, 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 yeah. So the first thing you got to do is just close eye. <laughs> don't don't finish a drawing with that. Just save whatever you have saved and just get out. <laughs> uh, you're going you're going to start. I have it here on the start button, but uh, you can look for it by just going to the start button and type in utility. If you have a Wacom tablet, this will appear. So you're, you're just gonna click it. You're gonna click here on all user preference. You're gonna remove that. And then you're gonna click yes. And then you wait. And it's going to be like not responding, whatever. Then it closes, and then the Wacom, the Wacom tablet thing driver, it's going to come out. So that that means that your your Wacom tablet is it's working, in a way. But remember also this: as soon as you remove that, you have to go back into the settings. So you can go to the Wacom tablet. Uh, properties you, you can also like find this by pressing the start button and write tablet see first one so uh, I'm using an Intuos creative it's really small I expected one to be bigger but this was a birthday gift and apparently it was smaller than the, the earlier one that I had Oh well. <laughs> okay, so we go to keyboard, keystroke. I put on undo and redo. Uh, 
on the buttons. So I oh wait, that's not redo. Oh no, that I didn't meant to put backspace. Oh god. <laughs> Control Y, there we go. Uh, this over here, it's when you press the buttons. They're going to show up here in on the top. I don't like it, so I just turn it off. <laughs> uh, put the tip field in this part over here, and then the, the mapping to monitor one. I have two monitors. Um, and yeah, that's it. And then we start. See you in the next video. Just kidding. <laughs> See you in the tutorial. Okay. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, we're finally here on the tutorial of the arms. Oof. Oof. <laughs> it's been a long way. It's been a long way. And we're finally here. So, as I told you, every, uh, as I told everyone, remember to do uh, the heads, the bodies. And, you know, like, just do the pointers, then the head, and the, then the body, and that's it. You're done. And and then we can continue with this. So I'm just gonna take some time to draw the body and then I'll continue into the arm. I'm gonna skip this, so don't worry. Okay guys, so I'm finally done with my body. Um, I actually did a, an anime head since uh, last tutorial I actually did only a furry uh, furry character so today we're going full on anime let's go okay so as how I said um, uh, as how I said before um, there's steps that we have to follow okay so as you all know first step is going to be the circle after the circle we're going to the shoulder shoulder after the shoulder we're going to the forearm then the elbow then the arm then the wrist then the hand and fingers so um in a way i'm going to like check mark each and one of these after done so I'll let check mark emoji if there's any <laughs> so we're gonna start with the circle so what do we do I don't know <laughs> just kidding okay as you can see this over here this over here is the chest right my phone it's Probably send me sending me emails about uh, Walgreens. Nope. Fished in flower birds, unicorn wall sticker for children. Ha <laughs> ha yeah yeah. No. <laughs> Anyways, so as we can see, uh, this is the chest, right? Yeah. So uh, what we're going to do on the chest is that we're going to make a circle beside it since we we made well I made the character uh, sideways. So the circle is going to be like a little bit of oval over here like this. I'm gonna put it over here so it doesn't mess up the square. There we go. We have our first square. Now we're gonna do a plus sign on it so we know where is the middle the middle and as we can see like uh, our arm doesn't actually take our whole chest because the chest ends like over here but the circle is to know where is the armpit as well so what you're going to do is um, you're gonna make like a little line over here which is where you think is the armpit it can be over here it can be over here it can be over here however you wish wherever you think it, uh, there's an armpit just put a, a small line in it like a small curve on it that's it that's it for the armpit <laughs> okay so uh, I don't know if you watch any other body tutorials but most of the times the the, the man boobs the, or just just the boobs 
um, they connected it. They they connected with the armpit. So on this point, as you can see, the armpit is over here. This is the chest. There we go. We connected it with the chest. How convenient, right? How convenient. We are all artists here. Mr. White. These dots keep keep appearing for no reason. I don't know where. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. They, they they appear on their own this time. Mostly don't appear that way. Anyways, so we're going to start with the shoulder. There is actually two ways on how to make them. There's a professional way on how to make shoulders, and there's a simple way to make. So I'm just gonna go into the simple one, but also into the professional one. So for the professional one, um, you want to go ahead for those simple people. Um, you can actually like make some lines over here like this. That that's actually telling us the the bones that we have under our neck over here. You can you, you can touch you can touch and you oh, say it don't spray. Uh, you can touch you can touch and you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel the bones. You gotta feel the bones. Those are the bones. Those are those are the bones. And as you can see, it has a little curve on this part. And it's because if, if you, the microphone, if you keep touching uh, to the center, you're gonna see like there's there's literally a hole in between those bones. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. So the professional way on how to do the shoulders, the reason of this line over here is because. Uh, that is going to divide our our arm from the from the, the body and basically uh, this line over here it's where it starts the shoulder you can do a curve it doesn't have to be perfect uh, just remember not to do this please do not do that <laughs> if you don't want to an ugly character you do not do that please unless you're doing you're drawing cartoons which is understandable I guess you're gonna do a little curve because we we manly men have muscles so we gotta make that shoulder uh, you know presentable so on the armpit we're gonna make like a little a little line over here in which is going to tell us the 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 part that is under that muscle that we have as you can see like it, it's it's like a ball so the 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 armpit line that i did is like the the end of the ball like the under part of the ball why do i keep saying that anyways <laughs> so yeah there we go we finally did the shoulder so we already did the circle we already did the shoulder we're going fast on this but you know it's gonna take time now this was actually the 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 professional way into doing the shoulder there's actually a simpler way which is just make a circle <laughs> make a circle and don't do not do not like just, just you can see this circle over here right you can actually make it uh, after you make the plus sign you can you can use the upper part of that circle and make the other circle now when doing that do not do not do the shoulder like connected with that circle okay try to make it separate just to know uh you know just to keep it a little bit more further because the further it is the more cleaner it looks because <laughs> you'll, you'll never gonna see like a, a, a character with no shoulders <laughs> shut up <laughs> goddamn phone is it is it walgreens Nintendo uploaded a video. No! Waiting for Walgreens. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so now we already did. We already did the shoulder. As we can see, that is the shoulder. There's many other ways into making the shoulders. Some people just go straight and make it pointy. Just to know where it's leading. Like a pointer. That's why they make it pointy because it's like a pointer so it tells you that the arm is going that way you know um, 
but it, it goes all to you all on you guys you decide how however you want to do it uh, so yeah we got this ready now we're going for the forearm so if, if you go and stand by yourself or if you're standing right now watching this video and not drawing because I told you to draw if you don't draw, how do you expect to learn? How do you expect to practice? Draw. Sit down. Sit down, little boy. Carl, I'm looking at you. Go back to your seat. Go back. Grab the paper. Grab the pen. And start drawing. Never mind, Carl. It's always a mess, boy. Anyway. <laughs> if you stand up and, and you, like... Just put your your hands down. You put your arms down. You're get, you're gonna notice that the end of the forearm, it's actually in the middle. Uh, like at the end of the chest, but also uh, a little bit down. So, well, let's just say that this circle over here, it's the end of the of the elbow. Okay, like that. This part is really hard to explain because <laughs> the, the thing is that when you touch your elbow onto your body, you can actually see that it's actually like on top of the belly. It's on top of the belly, but it's not at the end of the chest. And you know, so that small gap between the chest and the belly, that's where it ends. So starting at the belly, that's where the elbow is. So we can say that the belly. Okay, so this is the belly, right? This is the belly over here, right? Okay, so abs. Let's put some abs here. Ah, uh, yeah, so strong. <laughs> anyway, so that's the belly. So we could we could make a, a line over here, so you guys can learn a bit. Since he's si sideways, so he, the the line has to be sideways as well. So, uh, for, the, for the forearm, we're going to continue from this part. Now, you're not going to erase this part over here because that's, that's telling us, uh, like I said, the ball from the shoulder. You're just going to continue the line like this. That's it. Just one simple line. Now, if, if the character uh, has his arm a little bit upper, then you're just going to go a little bit farther up gonna do this but it will it will keep ending in the same place okay now the same thing goes with this one but this time you're gonna try and close you're gonna try and close the lines so in other words it's gonna look like this now if it's a muscle a muscle person like a very muscular person um, obviously you're gonna do like, like an, another circle over here like it it's different because you you gotta like curve it a little bit more and curve the the other one like this see it, it's a little bit harder to do but yeah like I said just let's stick with the skinny guys because skinny is the average person I'll shut up which is just a ch I'm just a chubby person that just don't like skinny people. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do a circle in between those two. Oh yes. So like I said, if you stand up and like you put your your hands on the on your thighs, you're gonna see that your elbows. Here it is. Here it is. Your elbows are not in the back. Yes. <laughs> your elbows are actually to the side of your arm when you put them on your on your thighs. Like just straight. And the elbows are to the side and not to the back. Um, and that's also another problem that many artists uh, tend to do. Because they think like everything's on the back. That bone is actually to the side, and you can actually just do a circle over here. It, it can be oval, it can be perfect, however you wish to do it. 
and that will tell us that the elbow is there, right? Okay, so there we go. We made the circle. So from the circle, you're gonna make that that little that little elbow. There we go. That's the elbow. That's the elbow over there. Yep. Uh, remember to use the circle um, separate. Never, never combine the circle with the lines because it doesn't work that way. <laughs> okay. Now that we did the elbow, we did the, the forearm, we did the shoulder, and we did the circles. <laughs> so many circles. <laughs> art, art is completely covered in circles, so yeah, just try your best, okay? Anyways, uh, let's continue. So the same way we continue the, the, the forearm, we're going to do it with the, with the arm, with the regular arm. But this time, it's going to be a little bit fatter on this part, like after the elbow. But don't make it too fat. There's many people that either make it too fat or, and and they became that the the whole arm it became it becomes fat. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so not everybody, if, if you can if you can go into yourself, go into yourself. Well, what is this? Where am I going to? Anyways, just grab your hand and put it on your wrist. As you can see, you can almost like, you know, grab your whole, your whole wrist with your whole arm, right? It's only like one small space. And what I'm telling you about this is that everybody, every wrist in the world is small. It's, and it's this big. So yeah, it's just small. So like I said, with the with the forearm, we're gonna start big, and then we're gonna go little. So it's going to be like this, and then it goes down, like like a cone, but don't close the cone. <laughs> so let's go over here like this. A little bit of fat over here, and then we're gonna go straight down, straight down. For this one, same. Here we go. We got the forearm. So you can see, you can actually, uh, if you go straight, uh, most of the time the wrist uh, is close to the hip. So there you go. Tips. Tips that you probably, I don't know if you can take this seriously. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we did we did the arm right now. Uh, we can give it a little bit of details, however you wish. Okay. So here's another thing that many artists do. Close that up. Oh my god. It's just burpy today. Anyways. We can make a circle. There's many options for this part because we're going we're getting close to the we're getting close to the hand. Hand is the worst part. I'm telling you from now on. If you don't want to do the hand now, just get, get out of the video. Wait till the end though. But get out of the video and just either look online because this is going to be a little bit hard. I'm gonna explain however I can. So you can either do a circle or you can just do a curve. Most of the times, many artists, what they do is they make two curved lines telling you where the wrist is <laughs> it's stupid but in a way they actually use that to know how angled the hand is going to be <laughs> anyways <laughs> let's continue okay so here's the hardest part guys it's gonna be hard I'm really sorry Really sorry this is going to be very hard to do very hard to do okay so there's many ways to do the hands many but many many ways hundreds of ways on how to do the hands and it's not fun 
It's all I can say. It's not fun to draw hands. <laughs> so, uh, the way I do it is that I do like a like a square. A square like this. Like a rectangle. Like this. Like a curved rectangle. Then we're going to do like a small triangle on this part. And that is the part that tells us where the thumb is. So for the fingers, um, there's many people that do like circles over here knowing um, what part, where, where is the, the fingers. That's actually like uh, the circles are just telling us the, the bones that we have here. But also they tell us where the fingers are. Now the way I do it, I don't add those uh, circles. I go straight ahead into doing the arm because I do not know any simpler way to do it. Because doing hands, oh my god, it's so horrible. <laughs> Drawing hands is the most horrible thing in the world. And many artists can tell you, yes, it's true. <laughs> So, we're gonna do the thumb here. We're gonna do the thumb. We're gonna like make a curve over there. And then keep. Okay, you can make a, like a semicircle on this part. And that, I don't know, I, I just do it that way. Then you can make a straight line like this. Then you close it up. You have your your thumb. Okay. Now you can do the same with this ones, but remember that the thumb has less bones. At least that's what I think. I, I'm not even sure. I I haven't checked in the internet. It probably has more bones than any other finger. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> you can do sem semicircles here. For the first finger, uh, semi-circles. Uh, try to do like a mini curve over here, just to to show up this, you know, this curve over here. This curve over here, and then you keep doing the the other semi-circles. You're gonna try and do them equally as much as you can. Um, you actually, do this since they're kind of like. Combine. There we go. We're gonna do the other circle, which will tell us the other finger. <laughs> There's no simple way to do this. That's the only problem. It's doing fingers are the worst. Is I, I don't know how to explain them. It's, it's really hard. Uh, maybe this can give you a little bit of tips on how to do the, the fingers, but they're completely hard. Hands are, I, I could say like, is, is the worst way into showing how to even draw them. At least that's how I drew them. The fingers look a little bit too long, but if you go like this, I, I don't think you'd notice it. Like there's not, they're not too long. But if you feel like if if there's if they are too long, just select them like this. The selection tool, just turn them down, turn turn them down a little bit, like that. But that's on you, like I said. But anyways, that's all. That's actually all for this. Um. And for the other part, it's the same the same process. So you're gonna do like circle over here, because uh, remember it's sideways. The the character is sideways, so the circle is mostly like on this part. You're gonna do the, the circle of the shoulder. You're gonna go ahead and do it like this. You're gonna go like this. Most of the time, it's just goes down like this and 
you don't have to do the shoulder that you don't have to do the elbow on this one oh, thank god right <laughs> uh Circle goes over here, like in the middle. And the arm. And the wrist. Now, here's another part because uh, when you do the thumb, you have to make like a little bit of a circle here, so you know how big the or the hand is going to be. So looking at the other hand, you gotta make like a circle like this on this part because, uh, like we all know, the hand starts with the with the elbow. I mean, with the with the thumb. So we gotta make that circle over here, and we're gonna continue to making the the other part of the square. Right? Here we go. We do the circle. Wait, no. We, we do this, which indicates uh, the thumb. We're gonna do the, the small circle. Since it's a little bit farther, the circle has to be a little bit smaller. And then we're gonna continue and do the thumb. Did the thumb here. Then we're gonna use, we're gonna, see? Worst tutorial ever. That's the the most simplest way I can actually explain this. So yeah, that that small thing. Yeah, that's this this meat over here. That's this over here. So yeah, for the hands, same thing. You can actually make the circles if you wish. They're not. It's not. It's optional. this same way We're gonna do the fingers oh my god uh, this circle is telling you like uh, the tip of the finger all I can say is that it's super hard to even explain how to even do, do the, the, the freaking fingers. Cause God damn. God dang. Freaking hand is the worst. It looks so horrible now. Now that I look at it, it just looks horrible. I can't, I can't draw hands. Drawing, drawing hands is my weakness. <laughs> like seriously, it's my weakness. Like no joke. I hate drawing hands. But as a tutorial, I actually told you uh, my way of doing it. You can erase those circles over here they're actually a little bit bothering like they bother too much anyway it's really I don't know 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 if I'm doing it right oh my god it looks so horrible not good at drawing hands this way just looking for a way to explain to you guys because i do not do the hands like this uh i mean i do them like this but not i don't do them with so much circles and lines and stuff but that's that's all i can give you for now uh, maybe later on i would either make a simpler uh, a simpler video in which I can show you guys how to do them better or just a, a, a separate video on how to do hands and forget about the, the, the freaking arms and the forearms and all that stuff anyways at least you 
you were able to make the shoulder, the forearms, and the elbows, and they look fantastic. They look extremely well. And so, all I can say is that on my next video, I'm going to show you perspective. I suck as a teacher, okay? <laughs> it's all I can say. Perspective is one of the uh, another another weakness that I have, but I can show you how I do it. Hi guys and gals. Uh, so this is the end card. I wanted to give you out uh, a special thing. I was I was going to show you a special thing, not give you, not yet at least. Oh, here it is. So the special thing is that, um, um, as you all know, probably no one knows, to be honest, I play games. I, I, I play card games. Uh, so I play Pokemon. Um, well, I used to play Pokemon. Now I'm playing uh, the Dragon Ball Z card game. And I wanted to build out a, a channel, a card game channel. But then I thought of it, and, and I was like, mm, "No, it's gonna, it's gonna ruin what I am." To be honest, <laughs> and so uh, I've been planning to go on tournaments and all that stuff, uh, building a, a deck in which I could play and not get destroyed, of course. <laughs> and so I bought this playmat, and I was like, "Oh, I should draw on it." I should draw something on it and because it's basically a white completely white uh, playmat and I was like I should I should draw something on this and like when I go to tournaments people are gonna be like whoa oh my god that looks awesome I'm gonna be like yeah yeah I, I drew it <laughs> but then then I was like mm, maybe I should buy another one another day and then draw on that one so the special thing that i wanted to do on this one was uh, uh for everyone who subscribed i'm going to pick one person um every time i do a video or at least every week i plan to do it every week so we can fill this up faster so i plan to like take a a, a thin uh, Sharpie and start writing the names over here of every subscriber that I pick every week so make sure to subscribe make sure to subscribe and I'll make a video of me putting out the name over here and shouting out that person okay so so yeah that's actually the special thing I wanted to uh, make like a little bit of a connection with you guys because uh, uh, even though um, doing these tutorials are super fun to be honest they're they're super fun to make and I like doing them for all of you and I wanted to make something special for you guys and that's it um, you can actually go and subscribe and make sure that probably in a week your name is going to be here and I'm going into tournaments with with this playmat and people are gonna be like oh what are those names they're actually my supporters my fans the people I love but yeah that that's actually something that came out of my mind today I was like I, I, I should like uh, reward my subscribers with something besides the tutorials and yeah this is the thing that I wanted to do so yeah every week I'll be putting one name from my subscribers into this playmat and I'm gonna use this playmat for competitive play so everyone can see it and, it, and who knows what if I go to a championship and then uh, live stream a card game and then you can see the, the, the playmat with all those names. And yeah, if anyone asks, I'll just tell them, yeah, these are the names of my supporters on YouTube. But yeah, that, that was the special thing that I wanted to give you all. So thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe to join in the 
in the weekly raffle and like this video if you like it share with your friends tell them to draw do not tell them to watch it tell them to draw <laughs> and see you on the next tutorial remember next tutorial is perspective bye